Alright, Stealth Data Zero here with another hacking tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how you can use Metasploit to hack Windows devices. Now, um, I'm going to be using Windows XP for this demo um, simply because I had the ISO laying around, but this will work on other Windows versions, not just XP. Um, also, I want to point out that Metasploit has many other um, exploits for browsers that affect many different OS's from Linux to Android to iOS um, and so forth. Um, I'm going to be focusing on one uh, in particular. Um, it's pretty powerful. Some of them, if you close the browser, you lose the interpreter shell, but this one, um, you do not lose the interpreter shell when the browser is closed once you have your shell opened. And um, also, you can implement it another way, but we won't be worrying about that. You can use any of the browser exploits with uh, Beef using a browser redirect. Um, if you have a hooked device, you can redirect the browser. If you just go into uh, commands and type redirect, um, you can redirect them to whatever page you would like. So once you have your malicious link, you can simply send them to your malicious page that way. Or you can get someone to browse to your page um, using like Grabify and a link spoofer. Um, and that way uh, the link will look a little bit better and you can socially engineer them to click the link and hack their device. To get this to work remotely, um, you need to port forward port 80 to your Kali Linux device. Um, some of the other exploits, uh, you have to choose a port. You would have to port forward that port in that case. And some of them use port 8080. So um, for some exploits, you would need to port forward 8080 to your Kali Linux box. <coughs> For, but for this particular exploit, um, you need to port forward port 80 to your Kali Linux box to do this uh, remotely. I'm just going to point out the notes real quick. Alright, so um, this is the exploit we're going to be using. So this is what you're going to want to type in your browser. Um, or in um, Metasploit, you start Metasploit by just hitting your Metasploit icon. That comes right there when you get Kali Linux. Um, then you want to set your payload. Um, it's Windows slash interpreter slash reverse TCP. You can use bind TCP if you'd like, uh, but we're using reverse TCP. And again, if you need more time, just use the pause button. Um, then you want to set your L host, which is your local host. Um, that's always going to be your internal IP address, which you find by typing ifconfig, and we'll go over that later. Um, set SRV host, which is going to be again your internal IP address. Um, SRV port is going to be port 80, and the URI path must be um, slash, and you will type them exactly like this. This has to be all capital here, where you see where it's capital. So all the commands must be typed exactly how you see here. Um, I'll quickly go over this auto pawn um, exploit. Here, um, Autopon combines about 20 or so exploits, um, so it takes a lot of the uh, reconnaissance and necessary need for reconnaissance out of the attack, um, but it's kind of noisy in a pen tester's point of view, but if you're just trying to get a shell on a device, um, this will hack multiple devices, the Autopon, so you would type use auxiliary slash server slash browser underscore auto pwn. You would set your local host, which would be your eternal IP address. Then you would set the URI path. I set mine as Google. You can set it for whatever you like, and this exploit will work on that. And then you would type exploit. What it will do is load up um, multiple exploits at once. And once you direct someone to that page, it will launch all the exploits at them, trying to get a shell with whatever it can. But we're going to be focusing on the one I showed you up top. right here. So it's going to be the shortcut underscore icon DLL loader. Alright, so as you can see here, I loaded up Metasploit. I already have it loaded up. And 
sorry, I was just checking on my uh, virtual box that will be attacking. And then I just added the little stealth data there thing there. IF config to find my internal IP address. You can see it's 10.0.0.15. Then I entered uh, the payload, which I used a reverse TCP. My L host, which is my local our uh, internal IP address and everything that you've seen in the notes and I have it ready to exploit so I'm going to hit exploit and now it's going to set my um, server up and tell me to direct um, vulnerable clients to this uh, I, I, or, uh, link here. So you could send this to Grabify. I've showed you in um, other videos using Grabify to change links and it also grabs IP address and other information. Um, that will be irrelevant in this case. Um, it's just to hide the link. Also you can use a link shortener or you could use uh, Beef if you have them hooked on Beef and use a um, browser redirect. Again you would just hit command in the search bar type redirect and uh, you'll see to the redirect command pop up. Um, you can also get client to save or render the icon um, that's at this address here um, and that will also hack them. And again if they close the browser after you get your interpreter shell um, they will you'll still have a interpreter shell. Some of the exploits when you close the browser you lose your shell. So I'm going to direct the target there now And you can see it got a connection. And it's doing its thing. This right now, it's, it's launching the exploit. And you can see it saying sending stage. At that point, you pretty much know you have your interpreter shell. And you can see that I have a interpreter session open up on the target device. So now all I have to do is hit enter, hit sessions, tack I and one, and it will open up my, ter my interpreter session. If you just hit sessions, it would have showed you the, um, the sessions that you have open. I will hit Control Z and Y to background it. And you can see right here, it's um, showing that I have the interpreter session on the uh, XP target. And again, this affects more than just Windows XP. You use the session ID to pick which um, interpreter session you want to open. So I like to type system info to make sure the interpreter session is nice and strong. And we're good to go here. If you type help, you can get all the commands. So you can do a ton of different things. Uh, get system. At this point, you basically have full control of the device. Um, you can enter a, a CMD shell and run commands that way. So if you know your um, Windows commands, you, you'll be able to do a lot of things there. Um, and if you need to find commands, just type help. We'll just run through a couple quick commands. We'll do a screenshot. Get system. This elevates privileges. Uh, 
I'll check out the screenshot we got. You can drop it to a shell, which is the CMD shell. Right here you can see the screenshot. If I click that, it would open it up. And now you can see I'm in the Windows uh, CMD shell. Go into the C drive. List the contents of the C drive. Exit out of the shell. And then one of the coolest things you can do is uh, run V VNC Let's see if we can get this one working now what this does is set up a VNC viewer on the um, target host and you'll actually be able to see the screen of the target host and um, and ver and view everything they're doing live So this is just going to take a second here. It actually launches another payload. And you can see you still have your interpreter shell. And right there you can see the VNC viewer. So I'll move the mouse around. I'll close the... Um, So yeah, you have full control over the target device. You can do a ton of things with the interpreter shell. It's very, very powerful. Um, again, like I said, you can use this with beef and link spoofers to cover up your link. Um, but yeah, you have full control over the uh, machine. As you can see, you can do some pretty cool things. Uh, you can start a key logger, all kind of things. Um, I just advise you to go over the commands in the help section. It gives you a brief little description of everything you could do. And if you know your um, Windows commands, you can do a ton of things. Here's the key logger um, and stuff like that. So if you know your shell commands for Windows, your CMD commands, you can do a lot. Um, you can do a lot of the same things with the interpreter shell commands. But some of the things you can't, um, you can start programs and stuff with the shell. But again, like I said, you have full control over the Windows device. So this is how you would hack Windows with just a link. Um, again, uh, Metasploit has a ton of different exploits for many different OSs from Linux to Android to iOS. Um, so there's definitely an exploit out there for um, every OS. Some exploits can be used for multiple OS's and again if you use the um, uh, auto pawn attack that I talked about which I'll do a video on um, another time um, it just launches all of the attacks at once um, so there you go that's how you hack Windows with just a link